In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's tutorial to the Vital Shopify app. This app is an amazing app which allows you to have so many different widgets on your Shopify store and I'd say it's really essential if you want to succeed with Shopify. Now if you want to go ahead and install the Vitals app, there's going to be a link at the top of the description. Click on that and it will give you a 7 day free trial to Vitals. Once you've clicked on the link, it should take you to a page that looks like this and there should be an install button here or add to store. Click that, add it to your store and then we're ready to go. So once you've added it to your store, it should look something like this. And inside of Vitals, there are so many different widgets. I'm going to try and cover as many as possible. Now, if we go to the left hand side and click on the app section here, it's going to tell you all of the different uh, apps that they have inside of Vitals here. And I'm going to start off with the product reviews one. This is one of the most important ones, in my opinion. So to go ahead and actually activate the app, we're going to click activate app. And then we have to go to our theme editor and we have to turn it on. So click go to theme editor and then wait a few seconds and you see a little thing here we want to turn this on here go ahead and click save and then go back and it should be on your store now so the way that this app works is that it allows you to add product reviews and also the stars to your products so to start off with we want to go to settings and in the settings tab here we're going to have the layout and all that kind of stuff so we've got the layout here do you want it as a grid view or list view it's really up to you the sort order so do you want photos first or do you want newest first um they've got photos and text first the verified buyers first the next we have the star rating shape so what do you want the star rating to look like we can just leave it at this we've got the color the accent color um just some other settings here that you can look into if you want then we've got the number of reviews before there's a show more button for these you can probably just keep these at default now we've got the auto publish so this means if someone leaves a review will it auto publish you probably want to turn this off in case people leave bad reviews so turn that off and just manually um, add them and accept them we have show dates so do you want to show the date of the reviews and then we have the um, the card itself so the colors of the review card we have the purchase icon colors upload colors uh, this is the SEO bit so this basically if someone searches your store and types in reviews it's going to show up on Google as um, reviews and people were to click on that and then here we have the um, the formatting of it you can just leave all of this as it is the same with this now for here we've got a a dedicated page to reviews so you can go ahead and with this one you can just leave that like that but or you can change it it's up to you this here is the reviews carousel which you can change the settings of you've got your text cards which I don't actually know about this one here I think that's like some kind of slider and then we have the band keyword so this bit here is kind of important this is where you put keywords in that you want to ban in your reviews so stuff like scam you want to ban that or you know aliexpress if you're drop shipping china aliexpress uh, drop shipping you want to put all that stuff in so when someone types that in it won't their review won't go through now we've got the placement and the, what we can do here is if we click go to editor this allows us to decide where the widget is placed on our store so if i go to like this product here i can go ahead and i can go and add a block and go to apps then I can go to the this one here. Well, we've got the product review stars. So this is the star rating. So we'll start off with this one. Click that and I'm going to drag that underneath the text. So that means here we're going to have the product review stars. Now it's not showing up for me because I haven't added any yet. And then we can go ahead and add another block, go down to apps, and we can add product reviews. And I've added under the share button, so that should be there. But now that means that if somebody adds a review, it's going to show up there as the actual review and then the star rating will show up here and this should also show up on like the collections page and stuff like that then we got all of your wording here for the reviews and that's basically all the settings for it so now if you want to go ahead and actually um, add a review you can do it here you press import reviews you can either import from a, another app so a different review app you can do it from aliexpress or you can do it from csv really up to you csv is the best if you want to do it in bulk um, i've done that a lot 
Now, moderation, this is where it's going to show you um, reviews that are to be checked. So you can say yes or no to them. Featured, you can feature reviews. I haven't really used that though. And here's the actual import bit in a bit more detail. So you can review from these types of apps. Um, or you can import from CSV. And there's a tutorial here of how to do that. You can also do it from AliExpress. Then you can request review. So this basically sends an email to your customers after they've purchased. So you can select how many days, depending on how fast your shipping is. You can say like 10 days. Uh, and this will basically send them an email saying, here, get a discount if you leave a review. This is a really good way to actually build up reviews from real customers. So that's basically the reviews app. And that's one of the ones that I use the most. Now we've got the product bundles one here. This allows you to create bundles which have basically discounts on them. Volume discounts is basically, this allows you to add discounts based upon people are ordering multiple. So they might order five packs or something and they'll get a discount for the amount of orders they do. Buy X and get Y. So this one here allows you to incentivize someone to get a free product like buy one get one free that kind of thing it allows you to do that this next one here spending goal so this basically allows you to have this widget here as you can see which incentivize people to spend more so they get some kind of discount next up we have the gift so this allows you to offer a free gift based upon the cart value or based upon adding a specific item to cart this is quite good, so say, spend £20, get yourself a free gift, and they can select the free gift that they get. Quite a good one. One-click post-purchase. So this is a really, really useful one. I'd recommend looking at this one. This one allows you to, after they've actually purchased their item, it has an upsell afterwards, which basically is one-click. They, if they press yes, then they will get upsold, and it, 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 I think it tokenizes their payment details so they don't have to enter them again. So it's a really good upsell. It's... Um, very very i'd very much recommend it if you're doing a lot of orders it will increase your aov by a ton next up is the visitor replays app this one here is actually pretty good um this will basically uh like screen record what the visitors are doing on your website and this is super useful because it allows you to see where people are clicking what people are looking at what makes them click off and you can basically optimize your website and split test things based upon what they're looking at and this has been a real good one for me that I've used in the past to help me take stores to be profitable when they're not because you can actually see what people are looking for. So it's really good for conversion rate. Now sticky add to cart button, this is a really good one. This one allows you to add an add to cart button at the bottom of the page that stays there, it's sticky the whole time. And this is super useful because it allows you to, it basically wherever someone is on the page, they can just click that and it will send them straight to the cart page rather than having to scroll up and that kind of thing. It will increase your add to cart rate by a ton super useful definitely add that one currency converter this one's good um this allows you to convert your currency obviously there is a little bit of formatting that you have to do for this to work first but it's very simple and you can see they've got a setup here next up we've got the high dynamic checkout checkout button so there'll be sometimes like paypal buttons uh apple pay that kind of thing i think the reason to do this is so that you can push them through your funnel properly so that upsells work all that kind of stuff because sometimes there'll be like a paypal button which sometimes will bypass other things like your upsells cart notice here this basically is a notice at the top of the cart page it basically says this is a high demand order you've only got 10 minutes to complete your order before it sells out or you know it's reserved for 10 minutes it might sell out this just adds a little bit of urgency to your uh, product products which can make people buy is is very effective or at least it was very effective i don't know if people still i think people a lot of people are used to it now so it's not as effective related products this is a really good one for adding increasing aov on your website especially if you have like a niche store where you have lots of products on it uh, this basically will add other products that people brought bought or people looked at at the bottom of the page and people can just go ahead add that to cart as well and this is a really good one this one really works as a game changer for a niche store scroll to the top button that's pretty self-explanatory it will scroll to the top which is just good makes it easier for customers 
Uh, product description tabs. This one is just allows you to have the different tabs. So you might have like description, size chart, shipping details, all in one bit. So they don't have to scroll the way down. They can just look at the bit there they want and they can click on it and it will be right there. Best sellers protection. This one is quite good if you're doing a lot of sales. Uh, basically, it means on your collection page, it will hide the best seller sort option. It can be a double edged sword because, uh, you know, it, it stops people from uh, stealing your best sellers. Basically, they can't see what's selling the best. But at the same time, it means that your customers can't sort by best selling. And I know a lot of the time I will just when I'm trying to buy something, I'll just sort by best selling and be like, OK, that's obviously the one I should buy because it's the best selling. So if you're sending people straight to a product page, it's, it's fine to do that. This next one's similar. It allows you to, it's called content protection. It allows you to stop people from right clicking on your website and copying text or images. Basically means they can't right click at all. It's really useful because it means that people can't copy a whole website and paste it onto their own. Recent sales notifications. This is like a little pop up in the bottom left of your uh, screen and it creates some social proof. It basically says someone's purchased this product five minutes ago. It makes people think that your website is more popular. It's good for building trust as well, that kind of stuff. Payment logos. Now, this is a really good one. Let me see if I can open it a new tab. I can't. Payment logos basically show that your website is secure, that you offer these different payment options, which is quite um, useful, makes it easy to use. Um, and it kind of adds trust as well at the same time. Now, if we scroll back down to where we were. So next we have trust badges. So this is um, like badges. So you might have 100% money back guarantee. You can basically add different badges with different things in them, which add trust. So you might say um, SSL secure, 100% money back guarantee live support, fast shipping, all of the basically the good points about you that add trust. Cookie banner, this is somewhat mandatory depending on your country. Recently viewed, this allows people to see what they've recently viewed so they can go back and forth. It means that they don't have to go through the whole site. Animated add to cart button, this basically makes your add to cart button move or animated so that it kind of draws people's eyes to it and it makes them click it. Uh, the favicon cart count so this basically up in the top where your little icon is it will have a number there by how many items you have in your cart the inactive tab message here this basically will make a little message saying come back uh, don't miss out that kind of thing You've got email marketing which is self-explanatory pop-ups so if people are trying to leave then this will make a pop-up come up say do you want a discount basically and it's triggered by if people try to go to the cross button or if people on mobile swipe too quickly Wish list, so you can create a wish list, which is quite cool if you have a store which people regularly come back to. Um, auto external links, I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Instant search, which is a search bar. Stock scarcity is a little bar that says only five left in stock. SEO, that's just better SEO for images. Countdown timer, so this is a countdown timer on the product page. Uh, we can be you can be like there's a sale left it's got an hour left accelerator checkout so this basically takes people straight to the checkout instead of the cart page this will decrease the average order value because it won't take them through the process of adding up sales that kind of thing will take them straight to the checkout announcement bars so this is the bar at the top saying oh you've got free shipping that kind of stuff Facebook pixels this is a good one just helps you to add your Facebook pixel very simple Shipping information, so it tells them the shipping information. Agree to terms, this is a cookie consent, EU consent thing. Pre-orders, allows people to pre-order. Uh, shoppable Instagram feed, so you can basically tag your products in posts and display that on the product page, which is quite cool, adds like social proof, I guess. Push marketing, so this is, um, I believe push marketing is stuff like notifications on your phone. Size chart, obvious, is, is size chart. Social media buttons, obvious. Spin the wheel, so this is like a spin the wheel at the start where they can get a discount code. Um, it's Yeah, it helps you boost conversion rate because people think, wow, I've got a limited discount, I don't want to waste it. 
Uh, quick links, I don't know what that is. Facebook Messenger, it's a chat bot, and not a chat, it's like a chat window. Same with WhatsApp chat, same with Messenger, same with Instagram. And then back in stock is people, could, if you, are, you have an items out of stock, people put their email in, all their phone number in, and when it's back in stock, they'll get a notification. So that's basically all the different apps that this has. It's very useful, and if you basically look at the way I used the first one, that's how you basically set it up. If you want me to go in depth on any of these apps, let me know down below and I'll go ahead and do that. But that's basically the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And if you want to use Vitals, go down to the link in the description and click the link, use it, sign up, and it helps me out as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.